A man from Indianapolis who pledged to protect and serve our country now wanted for murder. IMPD says Peter Van Bowie Leon killed his wife days before Christmas, stuffing her in a suitcase and then in a dumpster. News 8's Eric Feldman joins us live from IMP head headquarters with the disturbing details. Eric. Mike, Peter Van Bawi Leon was serving in Colorado for the U.S. Army. That was until he fled to Thailand after police say he murdered his wife. Let's take you back to the morning of December 23rd. The crime tape, the onlookers, the scene. The end of a 27-year-old's life. Her body inside a suitcase in a dumpster. Her name was Kwong Par. It didn't take long for IMPD to figure out who could be responsible. They zeroed in on her husband, Peter Van Bawi Leon. The 21-year-old had a protective order filed by Kwong just three weeks earlier. It stemmed from an ugly incident in Colorado Springs where Leon is stationed with the Army. One night in late November, he was arrested, charged with assault. Police say an argument about Parr coming back home to Indianapolis spiraled into Leon choking, first with one hand, then both around her neck. She unable to get him off. Eventually, he stopped. She walked out, but police say he yelled, I'm going to kill you. And less than a month later, IMPD believes he did just that. Leon flew to Indianapolis on December 22nd, where it appears Kwong Par picked him up from the airport. IMPD has video of him going to a Speedway gas station, buying things, and like anyone else, leaving the store. Same at the CVS on South Madison Avenue. This in the evening hours on December 22nd. Little did anyone know, earlier that day was the last time anyone saw Kwong Par. And the man going to these stores would board a plane to Thailand that next day, seemingly without intending to ever come back. He missed a formation event for the Army the day after Christmas. Police searched his home in Colorado Springs and found a suitcase, the same model Kwong was stuffed in. And then in Indianapolis, inside his car, a receipt that police believe could have blood on it. But justice is nearly 9,000 miles away. So the documents don't indicate whether there has been any effort or communication on whether uh, he would be extradited back to the United States if police do find him in Thailand. But if we do learn anything else regarding the story, we'll, of course, be sure to let you know. Live downtown, Eric Feldman, Wish TV News 8.